Hello everybody, John Scritchwell back here again with another video, and today I bring you another review. Yes, uh, uh, wow, this has been a very interesting, uh, freaking month for myself. Um, I, I, I don't know if I've ever done so many reviews in a month before, but, uh, th it just keeps coming and coming. You know, this, this week is gonna be a very interesting week, even leading up to, to Halloween, so, um, but nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoy what I'm about to talk about and feature upcoming videos. And uh, uh, I don't know what time placement this video is going to be uploaded because my computer has been very slow lately. And uh, and I don't know, YouTube's been fucking up on me. So um, depending on whether or not this day comes out, I hope you guys enjoy this video and, uh, and my other videos that are going to be coming out in, in the following week. And also, yeah, that's going to be it. But nevertheless, today I'm going to be reviewing the series finale of Boardwalk Empire. Yes, the, my personal favorite show uh, has finally left the airs. And today's title is El Dorado. Yes, it's a very, I don't know, like, this entire season itself is very interesting to say the least you know I mean like a lot of things went down in this in this in this uh, season finale that I can honestly say that I like and then I don't like and uh, if I had to weigh them in it's like more stuff I don't like than I actually do like so unfortunately this season is not really my favorite season out of the bunch I mean I don't know it kind of felt like rewatching the entire season up until this finale, it kind of felt that, like, the creators, like, Terrence Winter and the writers were, like, they had no idea how to end it, and that's how it came off, you know, like, they were like, oh, well, let's try something artistic, and let's, like, make something, like, really cool, and, like, let's, let's, like, make something ominous and, like, very, you know, artsy-fartsy instead of, like, you know, true to the lore of Boardwalk Empire, you know, and Boardwalk Empire has, of course, always been artsy, you know, it's, it's, it's always had, you know, its style, you know, its very specific style, because it's set in a very specific time period, but at the same time, you know, it's like, I don't know, it kind of felt like their main goal was to kill everybody without a real purpose to do it, you know, like, they killed practically their entire cast, you know, like, throughout the span of this season without a real purpose, you know, everybody kind of died without a real purpose, you know, and even the, the main character, Nucky Thompson, my favorite character, even he dies without a real purpose, you know, I mean, like, it just kind of felt unnecessary and stupid, but, you know what, let me give you the overall plot of what happens in this episode, overall, uh, basically, we come back to, to Atlantic City, it doesn't, this episode actually, spoilers alert, if you didn't fucking see the episode yet, but essentially, it opens up without the title sequence, with that, which I thought was weird. I mean, I mean, like, usually, if if you're going to do something like that, like, show off an episode without its title sequence, I don't know, I felt like, once again, it felt like them trying a little too hard, and secondly, it kind of felt like, um, like, it's just very unnecessary, you know? Like, this is the last episode of the entire series. Put on the fucking title sequence, you know? That's, that's just me, though. But anyways, it opens up with Nucky, like, taking a swim throughout the Atlantic Ocean. He's, like, swimming in the in the water and shit, which is pretty interesting, to say the least. Then we go back into New York, where um, the Mayflower stock and whatever is going haywire, whatever. Kennedy's, like, business associates are, like, going all crazy. And he's like, oh, what's that? Fuck it. He's going to take care of it, whatever. He goes back and deals with Margaret who actually has a big part in this episode where she's, like, dealing with the entire stock and convinces him to sell and, and, and towards Nucky's um, favor and or whatnot. So, basically, she comes back and, and talks to Nucky back in Atlantic City, essentially. And they have this, like, really interesting conversation. Like, I'm not the biggest Margaret fan. Uh, then again, I'm not the, really the biggest fan of majority of the female characters in Boardwalk Empire, which, which is, as, as you all know, it's, it's nothing, you know, personal or anything. It's just like the characters themselves, I just felt like they really did not know how to write for them. Like, that's how I feel, you know, like Jillian's character always felt like a recluse, you know, crazy character that really wasn't going anywhere. And Margaret's character kind of felt like they tried so hard to make her so appealing, but it just... Like, it kind of failed short in certain, you know, seasons. But 
I have to give them credit for this one actual sequence. It's probably my favorite sequence in the entire in, in t- the entire episode itself is where Nucky and Margaret basically talk about the success over the stock, uh, what have you, and then they start talking about the relationship and what happened throughout the entire series, which is pretty cool and, and nice and, and, and interesting. And then they have one last dance and talk about like, you know, whether or not they should get back together or whatever. And I thought that was pretty co- cool. I mean, like, it it obviously ends short, but nevertheless, it was a good sequence for the two of them, you know? It was it was a good sequence for us as fans of the show to be like, you know what, it, you know, wherever the, the show continues from here on out in this episode, I'm happy the fact that they had this good sequence. And I think it was pretty good. It's it, Like I said, it's my favorite sequence out of the entire actual episode. Uh, even though I kind of felt that, uh, they should have got back to together. They should have got back together like throughout the entire season. That's what the setup should have been. Like, I mean, like, that's what I personally thought, you know. But nevertheless, it, it's a good sequence to say the least. Anyways, we go back to to the fucking sanitarium where Jillian's at. She basically the previous episode had wrote to Nucky for help or what have you, and uh, she's basic. They basically have this really really weird sequence. I, I really felt it was very bittersweet in my personal opinion. I mean, like, this is the sequence that should have, like, held everything together, you know? I mean, like, they, the Darmody and the Thompson families had so much turmoil throughout the entire series, especially Jillian and Nucky. I kind of felt like it just ended way too bittersweet. It was like him basically saying, is like, well, you know what? This is all I can do for you, and that's pretty much it. And then she's like... Well, look at the pretty bug. It's like, what? What do you... I don't know. It was just weird and stupid. It just... It, it was just not well written. I mean, like, the Margaret Nucky scene was way superior to the Jillian and, and Nucky scene, which is really sad, to say the least. But nevertheless, uh, Nucky pretty much spends the entire day in Atlantic City basically saying his goodbyes to everybody. He goes to Eli and says his goodbyes, gives him money, and encourages him to go see his family. Uh, and pretty much everybody uh, else is pretty much dealing with their own things. You know, Al Capone uh, is, of course, going to jail and, of course, has his last moments with his family, which is pretty interesting. I mean, like, Al Capone throughout this entire season itself, I mean, like, without discounting what happens in the previous seasons, I kind of felt like this was the number one season where Al Capone was, like, the biggest douche. I mean, granted, this season was the season where he was, like, at his peak of, like, power uh, when it came to organized crime. And his personal life, that's when he was, like, at the peak of, of his power. But at the same time, it was like, God, like, his character is so douchey and, like, un, you know, interesting to watch. It just was whatever, you know, like, I mean, like, I'll give credit to his last sequences. But I don't know, like, what happens throughout the entire season was, like, ugh. Like, the previous seasons, I'll give you credit, he was interesting, he was fun, he was crazy, he was awesome. But this episode, it was, like... They were trying to be like, okay, Al Capone, let's have you have a personal moment and then go to jail. That's basically what they did, so it is what it is. Nevertheless, a whole bunch of other craziness happening. You know, you have organized crime with Luciano and, and his bullshit team, like, basically creating, like, organized crime as as it is standing with all the, the crime families of New York and, and whatever. And then you have, you know, their flashback sequences with, with you know, younger Tom, Nucky Thompson with his family and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, his conversation with the Commodore. And, you know, there's just a whole bunch of shit that goes down in the flashbacks. And that's another thing, the flashbacks. I really want to mention this prior to ending this review is that um even though I did enjoy the flashbacks throughout the entire season, I kind of felt with this episode, it was done, it was kind of overkill, you know, like... Like, this is what happened. Like, they basically... Spoilers, if you haven't seen the episode. Basically, the entire Nucky Jillian flashback, like, has five seconds of time, and then you go to present time, five seconds of present time, then back to flashback, then back to present time, then back to flashback. It was like... It was just overkill to death, you know? It's like... It's like people. It's like, stick to the flashback, then get to the present. You know? Like, seriously, why you... Like, the way you did it the previous season is good. The way he did in this episode did not do justice at all. But nevertheless, we come to the final conclusion of the episode. Flashback sequences of the Commodore basically giving Nucky Thompson 
full reign of, of the sheriff uh, power and basically asking him to have sexual relations with Jillian, which is really fucked up to say the least, you know, that, you know, like it's, it, I liked it because it was fucked up. That's why I liked it because it was like Nucky had to make a decision where it's like he finally gets the power that he deserved and worked for his entire life or he sells out the kid that he has, you know, personal you know, feelings for, it's like, it's so fucked up, but it's like, finally something, you know, that was done right, because we all know what happens, of course, you know, the Commodore rapes Jillian, and then Jillian gives birth to Jimmy, and then, you know, we get into season one, that's basically what happens, but nevertheless, we have that, and, um, Nucky basically comes across Joe Harper, uh, which is basically the newest character that came into the season. For those of you who don't know, he's the kid who basically, for some odd reason, wanted to work his ass off or whatever. And then um, he comes across Nucky. They have this weird conversation about money and like what he should do with his life. And he obviously is drunk or what have you. <clears throat> and has no, I don't really know. Uh, and then you come to the ending sequence where Jimmy's son is revealed to be joe harper which is tommy darmody which is really fucking crazy i mean like it's the biggest twist in the entire episode and to tell you the truth i did not like it at all it, it kind of felt really anticlimactic in my personal opinion granted tommy darmody is a big part in the boardwalk empire but at the same time and for those of you who don't know Tommy Darmody is Jimmy Darmody's son. He's basically the kid that we saw throughout the entire series, basically. And uh, we didn't really get to see a whole lot of him throughout the season, but apparently Joe Harper was Tommy Darmody. And I don't really understand the sole purpose of, like, what that was. It kind of felt like... It just felt unnecessary. It didn't. There was no setup to it. You know, like, Tommy Darmody, what purpose does he have killing Nucky Thompson? Granted, Nucky Thompson killed his father. Granted. Uh, Nucky Thompson had Jillian raped by the Commodore. Granted. But at the same time, Tommy Darmody doesn't know any of that. He doesn't have the background information on any of those things. Like, how would he have any information on any of that? Because throughout his entire life, all these things happened when he was a little kid. Little kids don't remember any of that shit. And plus, he had no information of those causes. It just did not make any sense to me. And, um... It just didn't have no setup, and I did not like it at all. Like, if anybody did like it, tell me in the comment section below, but I did not like it at all. Overall, it just did not hold up as well. Uh, Tommy Darmody basically shoots Nucky to death, or, or semi-death, or what have you. Kind of in the same style that Nucky killed Jimmy in, in the previous season, so I don't know. And then basically, you go back to your, you know, Boardwalk Empire, you know, artsy-fartsy kind of sequence where... Nucky's laying there dying to death, you know, from his gunshot wounds. Uh, Tommy is being arrested by, you know, police. And uh, and the last sequence in the entire series is basically a young Nucky Thompson swimming in the ocean, catching a coin. That's essentially the ending sequence of the entire series. And to tell you the truth, I did not like it at all. So that's pretty much it. Nevertheless, it was a pretty decent episode. I'm not going to lie, there were some things I did like, but there was a lot of things I didn't like. And uh, granted, that has a lot to do with, you know, the ending of the series. You know, like, there's so many shows that try really hard to, um, to, accomp to accomplish a very good climactic end. But then there's a lot of shows that fail at it. You know, it's really hard to come up with a good ending for your show, especially especially a show that's been going on for a long period of time that's gone that's done very well, you know. And I love Boardwalk Empire. The three season the three first seasons were amazing. They were gold. The first season was awesome. The second season was badass and the third season was so amazing. Like if they ended it there, I would have been so happy. Like the third season ending, okay, let leave it at that. It was good as it was. But then the fourth season, I don't really, I didn't really like it. it. I mean, like, I liked it, but then I didn't like it. And this season, I liked it, but then I didn't like it. I don't know. I think it's going to take some time for me to really adjust to what happened in these past couple seasons, specifically this one. And really, you know, like, I guess only time will tell as to whether or not 
this ending, uh, you know, uh, test the, uh, stays the test of time, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But overall, if I had to rate this, I'd give it a good 8, maybe even an 8.5 on a good day. And the only reason I give it a good um, rating is because, for one, I like Boardwalk Empire. I've always been a fan ever since the conception of the show. It's always been really awesome and well done. Um, I, I really loved... Uh, everything they accomplished throughout the entire series, I loved uh, the, the, the everything about it. But um, the reason why I don't give it a very very high rating is because obviously this last season wasn't um, done justice to the show, and the ending itself I didn't really like. So I guess it is just a taste issue, if you will. But overall, the the season was decent enough. So you know, there's that. But nevertheless. Uh, in the comment section below, let me know what you personally thought about the Boardwalk Empire series finale. Uh, did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? What did you think about the twist? Did you think it was necessary? Did you think it was it made sense? Um, personally, for me, I didn't really care for it. Uh, I don't think it made sense. Tommy Dor Dar Darmody doesn't have any real reason to kill Nucky because he doesn't have the information. And plus, whatever happened to that fucking guy's girlfriend who was taking care of the kid? How did how did he end up leaving? In his teenage years, fucking hanging out with homeless people just for the sole purpose of, like, working for Nucky Thompson. I don't know. Just saying, people, it just does not make that much sense. Nevertheless, I guess it depends on your personal, you know, taste on the whole thing. But what, in the comment section below, let me know what you personally thought about the Boardwalk Empire series itself. You know, it was amazing ride. Um, like I said, the first three season or seasons were badass. They were amazing. The fourth season, not a huge fan of it. And this last season, I'm also not a humongous fan of it. But nevertheless, it was interesting, to say the least. That's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. And uh, this has been John 12